Hi everyone! This tutorial is the first part of series of tutorial on architecture animation using V-Ray as the rendering engine. Later, at the end of tutorials, I hope you can present your building or interior design to the client in the form of animation. In this scene, I use V-Ray material on all objects. First of all, I will set the V-Ray render parameter. I will arrange it so the image rendering time can be as fast as possible but still with good results. But before that, I will set the length of animation that we are going to make. We click time configuration and then we set how many frames per second you want. You can change it here using custom. But I usually use 30 frames per second. In this tutorial, I'm going to make 4 seconds of animation. I know, it's very short. So since I'm going to make 4 seconds of animation, the animation length will be 4 times 30 equals 120. Notice that the bar below became longer. Okay, now we go to render setup or you can type F10. Change the output range to 120. And then change the output size. I'm going to use YouTube video size which is 1280 times 720. And then lock the image aspect. And then we assign renderer. I use very advanced too. Turn off the default light. Change to Adaptive DMC. I'm going to use Mitchell Natropoly. Turn on Environment Override. And the color mapping. For exterior scene, I prefer using linear multiply. Raise the gamma value to 1.2. Next, turn on indirect illumination. Change the secondary bounces to a light catch. Change irradiance map to very low. Change light catch to 300. Change noise threshold to 0 0.02. Next, we're going to make the camera. We're going to use Vray physical camera. Change the camera type to movie or video camera. I prefer video camera. Change the focus a little bit. Change the film speed to 200. If this camera setting is too bright for your scene, then reduce the film speed value. But if it is too dark, raise it up to 400. Now we're going to adjust the camera position. Next, we're going to add V-Ray Sunlight. Place it more or less from left to right.
and then adjust it but not too far from the object because it will affect the color. Now we adjust the value. Hide all the heavy layers. Hide the building and replace it with a box. Next, we will set the background. Since we are making the animation, we want the background can also move along with the movement of the camera. There are two ways in creating environment background. The first way is by using the environment. Use a panoramic texture that is white like this, so we can have wider view. Then copy the bitmap to map editor by dragging it using instance and then we can edit it. We turn on the viewport background or click Alt B, display the background. You can see here, if we move the camera, the background is not moving, so it's not realistic enough. Therefore, we must change it. Go back to the map editor and change the environment to become cylinder or sphere. Now when we move the camera, the background will also move. Click F3 and then we adjust the background. We adjust it so its horizon will be as the same height with our thin horizon. The downside of using this method is, the background distance is constant to our camera, so if we move the camera straight ahead, the background size will not change. For instance, if we move the camera towards the trees over here, the tree size will be the same, so I think it's not very good. But by using environment, we don't have to worry about the size because it's indefinite and it won't affect our building lighting. The second way is to make a cylinder shaped object that will surround our building. We could also create spear. But this time I prefer cylinder because I want to use the trees on my texture. If you use spear, then there's a chance that the tree will be bent. Now convert the cylinder to editable poly and then go to polygon. Remove the top and bottom part of the cylinder. Select all polygon and then flip. So the texture will show up on the inside. Then we go to object properties and then uncheck the receive shadow and cast shadow. So cylinder won't affect our building. We also going to change parameter in V-Ray Sun. Click exclude and then double click the cylinder. Double click and then choose OK. And then we make a new V-Ray map. Click one of the empty slot and then we use V-Ray light material. And then drag our previous bitmap, copy it, 
Show standard map in viewport. Assign the material to our cylinder. You can see that even though we changed the cropping here, the texture on the cylinder didn't change. It's because the coordinate is still in the environment. We have to change it to texture. And then we use UEW mapping and then change the mapping to cylindrical. Fit. Now adjust the parameter. Now I'm going to animate the background, so there will be a transition from night to day scene. Change the Vray light material. Go to bitmap and change it to color correction. Now click Auto key and then adjust the color parameter. And then click set key and then move the time slider to 90 and then change back all of the parameter to zero And then we up one time and change this to 2. Remove the auto key. Now try to move the time slider. You can see the color is changing. Before we actually render it, which will take a long time, we can preview the animation first by using tool, grab viewport, create animation sequence file. and then create it. If everything's okay, go back to rendering setup, change render output, Davy Okay Now start rendering That's all Have a nice day